Given Richie's history and what you guys are trying to build here, how does he fit in? Three years in a row, he's a pro bowler in uh, Buffalo, 15, 16, 17. I think whenever, whenever he's been focused on activity solely on the field, he's been fine. And we've done a one-year prove-it deal with him, and prove-it means both on and off the field. Okay, there's some expectations he's got to meet in both areas. He turns 36 in July. Uh, we think he's going to be a good football player and allow us allow himself to compete for the left guard job. And uh, just as importantly, he's got to prove it off the field. What assurances did you, did you get from him or his agent ahead of time that he would be able to prove on that? That he would be able he to? be able to prove himself on and off the field. Well, I, we've done a lot of homework on him, okay? Uh, I've known some of the line coaches he's played for several of his stops. I've called several people around the league. Uh, I feel comfortable that he's going to compete on the field, and I feel comfortable that, A, he wants to compete off the field, and we're going to provide the infrastructure for him. So at the end of the day, I think it's a two-way street. we got to help him help himself. Are there concerns of him being suspended? Yeah. And, and uh, the last couple of weeks, he came in and worked out, as you guys all know, a couple of weeks ago. He did a great job at the workout. Um, We've talked to the NFL, we've stayed in touch with them, and there's a chance there could be league discipline. Don't know what it'll be, but again, it's a one-year minimum prove-it deal, and, and we feel that he's incented properly to stay straight, and we can't control what the NFL will do. What did you take from his, um, from his workout uh, a couple weeks back, given that he didn't play uh, in the league last year? What yeah, I mean, he was coming off a great 17, didn't play an 18. So I didn't know what to expect. And, and I'll, I'll tell you quite honestly, uh, we had about 10 people watch him work out. And he started with two circuits with Tom Cable. And usually you go with the circuit and then you go into position drills. He got done two circuits and Tom Cable said, that's all I need to see. And John Gruden and I said, that's all we need to see. He was in great shape. He, he looks like he's five to 10 years younger than he really is. Um, wonderful shape. He still has his quickness. He still has his foot speed. Um, at the end of the day, we won't know really the training camp what we have, and he's gonna he's gonna have an opportunity to compete. Mike, you and John have talked a lot about character. Yep. The guy doing character. Is there a concern at all bringing in a guy with his history? No, it's a it's a fair question. You know, we I've talked a lot about foundation. John and I have both talked a lot about foundation. I think we reinforced that with our draft, and I think at the end of the day. Um, you can't have all Boy Scouts. And, and what you have to do is you have to do your homework on each individual case. And we've done our homework. We've talked to an awful lot of people. We brought him in. We talked to Richie. We told Richie what we'd expect both on and off the field. And, and we expect him to adhere to that. And uh, we're going to meet with our uh, player engagement people after practice. We've got our clinician coming in tomorrow. And I'm not going to go into any more of that other than to say the infrastructure will be here for him to use. Well, is there a difference between a guy with a proven track record in the NFL who may be here for a year or two and that's it, as opposed to a guy you're going to draft and build with? Well, yeah, I mean, let's be honest. He's, he's going to turn 36 in July. Uh, he plays a position that right now we, we would like to, to have some competition at. So uh, we feel like it's, it's a win-win for both sides. Do you think this will be good for Colton, just having him? Well, I, the bottom line is we want Colton to have somebody next to him that he feels comfortable with. Uh, I don't know how the competition is going to play out. We still have Denzel Good, who we believe in and played well at the end of last year. What's the importance of just mental health as it relates to Richie and the team working stride for stride just to make sure he's on the right program to take care of himself the first and first and foremost. Uh, like, like I said a moment ago, we've got a plan. He's, he's going to stay to that plan. He agreed a couple of weeks ago. We talked about the infrastructure he would need. He was quite honest with me. We had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the door closed where I asked him specifically what he would need not only to be a good football player but to be a really good human being. And we went through a lot more of that than we did the football. And we're going to meet after practice again. We're going to go through all that. As I mentioned, tomorrow he's going to meet with our clinician. And we're going to do our best to help him off the field. When, when Vontae's signed, Mike, you had mentioned that Paul was pounding the table for him. Yeah. John said he was, he was pounding the table for, for Richie. I think we all are. Yeah. And, and I, I mentioned earlier, when it, whenever you have a case like this, I think it's important to have the conversation in the building. And. You know, Paul Gunther jumped up on the table because of his relationship with Vontez, and we all respected that. Paul took ownership of that and took ownership of the responsibility of Vontez both on and off the field. 
Uh, we've talked a lot about Richie, and we're all going to take ownership with Richie. And I think uh, this is a situation where John and I both agree that with a guy this age on a one-year prove-it deal, we're all in. Based on his workout, and it was literally a two to three minute workout, uh, he was in great shape, he had foot quickness. Uh, we expect him to come in and compete. We would not be bringing him in now unless we didn't think he could come in and compete day one. So that's the expectation.